Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a classic Featherwing streamer. We're going to tie the Black Ghost. Super simple, super easy. Cast it on a three weight, cast it on a five weight, catches trout, catches salmon. Super easy, and we're going to get going on it right now. Alrighty guys, so in the vise today I have a Daiichi 2340, um, which is a 6x long traditional limerick bend hook. Um, you can use whatever hook you like for this. This is pretty traditional, so I like this hook. And for thread, I'm just going to use Uni 8 aught in black. Uh, you could probably get away with um, a 140 denier too, but I prefer a thinner thread for this. It just keeps the bulk down, keeps it to a minimum. Um, so just starting my thread, bringing it all the way back. I'm going to leave it right in front of my hook point here, and then get rid of that. The first thing we're going to tie in is going to be the tail. So for a tail, I'm going to use... Just a strung hackle here in a yellow color. I'm just going to grab some by the tips from the feather. Make sure my tips are aligned. I'm going to strip them off and tie them in here. So you want a pretty good sized chunk. Um, you can vary this up, honestly. Um, and for measurement, I mean, this is basically the length I have. I don't know what you'd say. It's two hook gaps. But I'm going to trim those butts so I get a nice clean tie-in point and get it going and tie it right on top of my hook shank here. So I do want to pinch wrap, pull straight down, and make sure that's right on top of my hook shank. Cover those up, and there we go. I'm gonna return my thread all the way to the eye here. You notice I've left a small gap here between the eye and my thread. It's so that when I start tying in materials, again, I'm not creating bulk, it's gonna leave a space for my head. So for a rib here, I'm using Uni French. Um, it's an embossed French tinsel and silver. You can use regular Mylar, you can use Flashaboo almost, uh, you can use whatever you'd like for this, but I like the look of this embossed tinsel. So again, just bring it all the way back. And then we wanna make sure that's right at our tie off point for the tail. And then the thread goes all the way back up. This is probably the easiest way to make sure you have a nice, smooth, even body. Just going to make sure I don't have any sharp edges there so it doesn't cut my thread. So I'm going to use some Antron yarn for the body. You can use floss, you can use dubbing, um, you can use a number of things here. Again, I'm going to tie it in right here at this point. Uh, spin my thread, pinch wrap that down, and just bring it all the way back again. If you ever tie, you know, classic hair wings or feather wings or salmon flies, this is a good way to make sure, again, that you have a nice smooth body. Just bringing materials forward and back, the full length of the hook shank. You waste a lot of thread, but your fly looks a lot better at the end here. Get that piece down. And then I'm just going to leave my thread right there. I'm going to start creating a body, and I'm going to wrap up the shank here. Um, make sure this is nice and spread out. Spread it with your fingers as you wrap so it's not corded. And I'm just going to bring it all the way up and all the way down and all the way up again. So you can keep these as thin or as thick as you like as far as body. Um, I don't like it super, super thin, um, which would be like one wrap of this up the shank. I like to create a tiny bit of bulk. I don't think it really matters, but to me it looks a lot better. So I'm wrapping, you know, touching wraps. They might be overlapping a little bit, but you could see my tinsel underneath there, and I'm trying to just make sure that I do cover that fully. It's not a major deal because we're gonna go up and down this shank a couple times, but just to keep this even and a smooth body, it's a good indicator of where your wraps are landing. And then back again. And again, just keep these nice and tight and touching. This gets easier when your piece of Antron gets shorter. And again, just making sure this is spread out. You'll see I'll flare it with my thumb a little bit there so that this is not quartered up at all. So getting that flat, even wrap back and forth here. And then back up the shank. 
you could probably throw this in a, bob, a bobbin too if you find it easier. Um, I personally like to manipulate most materials with my hands, so I don't like to use a bobbin for this. I find it just more accurate to use my hands. Okay. So you see we created a pretty thick, nothing crazy, but good looking body there. So that's two wraps. Um, I'm going to use my vise to wrap my tinsel. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to use my vise to rotate here, I'm going to unravel my thread as I wrap this. So those extra thread wraps that I put in there are going to unravel themselves. So basically I'm going to hold this at a 45 degree angle and just rotate. And then I'm going to tie that off right under the hook shank here. Oop. I lost it a little bit. It's still where I need it, so that's fine. So you can probably just wiggle this off here. You may have to come in here with a cheap pair of scissors, but you should be able to just break it like I did there. I'm going to make sure everything's flat and covered up. and I don't have too much bulk at my head. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take another chunk of this yellow hackle. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Um, grab about a, a similar size chunk, grab them by the tips of the fibers here, and then if you strip them off the hackle, they'll come out with the tips relatively aligned. So you see I have a good chunk there, um, about same density as my tail. I'm going to tie this right in on the underside of the hook shank. So basically, you, you can vary this up. I think it looks best when it's about half the length of the hook shank there. So I'm going to grab that, trim my butts, and I want to be super accurate with this and make sure I get a nice little pinch wrap in there so this does not move. Cover those up. And there we go. That's pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is tie in my wing. Um, I have whiting American hackle here, which is pretty pretty much made for this fly or this style of fly. You can see it's got rounded tips. It's pretty bulky up front. Um, I'm going to take a measurement here. I've already cut these somewhat to length. But you can, you can change up how you like this fly to look, whether you want your wing to be you know, the length of the tail or a little bit longer. And I, might, I like mine to be a tiny bit longer than that length of the tail. So I'm going to pull these off and take that measurement. So what I do here is I grab them, I stack them together so the concave side is in. Um, it'll force them to be flat and then I'll pull these off and that makes sure that they're the same length. More or less, close enough. Take that measurement again. It's pretty much where I want it. So there's a couple ways to tie these in. Um, none of them are that easy, honestly. But I like to come in here, split it on either side of the hook shank, and then I'll throw a loose wrap over the top. Kind of adjust them. And you'll see where it is right now is not where I want it to sit. So basically, it's on there. It's got a couple wraps. I'm going to just come in here and kind of pull them to the top of the shank. And I've left these stems long so that you can still manipulate these feathers. And I think that's pretty much what I want. One is a tiny bit longer than the other, but we're just going to leave it. It's close enough there. Um, basically come in here. And again, we're trying to create a nice tapered head. Let's trim those off right behind the eye. Hold them where you need them and cover up the butts. And again, black thread and white feather, so you should be see, able to see what you're doing. Create a nice round head here. And then to finish this fly off, I have some jungle cock. Um, obviously, guys, if you don't have jungle cock, you can use synthetic jungle cock. You can use another game hen feather. Um, you can leave it out. You can paint an eye on here. But 
since I went down to South America and caught one of these guys, I have a whole bunch of jungle cock. All right, so basically I've taken this, I've stripped the fibers off that I don't need, and I'm going to hold this here and pinch it where I want it. I'm going to throw a loose wrap, and then I'm going to rotate the hook around to look at the other one here and make sure that they're relatively even. Come around here. This is always the bad side of the fly, so uh, don't judge it. Still fishes. Okie doke. So I've kicked them up at like a 45 degree angle too, as you can see. Um, that's my preference. I think it looks better. I'm going to come in here and just take these butts right out. Maybe. Okie doke. And like I said, we're going to cover this up. We're going to create a nice little head. Um, this is pretty good right now. But if you want your fly to look good, you can create a more rounded head. And then I'm just going to bring it up here. Throw a quick whip finish in and then I'll finish this off with some UV fly finish. Oop, that slipped. I'm just going to do two because I'm going to cover this up pretty good with UV. So I have UV fly finish, loon, and thin. And I'm going to come in here and try not to use too much. Um, squeeze a good chunk on there. And then I'll be able to just spread this around with my needle. Make sure everything's covered up. And that looks pretty good to me. So hit this with your light, and that's more or less, that's it. Super simple. Um, there's some idiosyncrasies to it. You know, change up the wing here. If you don't want to do a hackle wing, uh, a marabou wing is super easy. Uh, these hackle wings are good. You can add more bulk here. You can use different shape feathers. You can kind of wet these things and set them so they curve down. But fish as well looks like a fish. Great little bait fish pattern. Um, try it out, guys. Fish it hard, and we'll see you next time.